And here's your news on the go this morning. National Grid says it's increasing staffing levels in preparation for some strong winds today. There will be more than 3,200 line service tree damage assessment and public safety workers. Crews are being pre-positioned this weekend, particularly here in central New York and around the Rochester and Buffalo areas where those gusts will be the strongest. An empty tractor trailer ban on the thruway west of Utica also goes into effect today at 10 a.m. A record crowd of 35,642 jammed into the Carrier Dome to watch SU take on Duke. But last night's game was about so much more than the final score. The Loud House going quiet for a moment of complete silence to honor 51-year-old Jorge Jimenez, who was killed in that tragic 690 accident involving Coach Beheim. The Orange couldn't come away with a win, losing to Duke 75-65. Well, Lake Ontario water levels are up six inches from last month and almost a foot and a half above their normal February average. That's according to the Army Corps of Engineers. It's causing flooding concerns and prompting Governor Cuomo to send a letter to the International Joint Commission, or IJC. They control the amount of water released from Lake Ontario and into the St. Lawrence. He's urging the commission to increase outflows to avoid future flooding. Well, bagpipers, Irish dancers, green beer, and more St. Patrick's Day may be three weeks away, but today you can start celebrating early. It's Green Beer Day over at Coleman's. The drinking will kick off at 11, but the parade down Tompkins Street starts at noon and ends at Coleman's Irish Pub. Of course, the starting point, the iconic green on top traffic light right on the corner of Milton and Tompkins.